real, honey. Get your own style. Get your own thing. Do your own thing. It's not, it's not, I, I don't want people to think that I think I'm better than people. I just want y'all to know that I've been doing this a long time. I've been doing this for 17 years. I ain't just started doing it yesterday. I've been doing this for a long time. Where y'all niggas want to be, I've been there, done it. I'm already there. It's good. It's like, it's your own thing, man. Don't, don't, don't try to come to the club with your, with your dreams and the bun and the ball. I've done that. I, I, I created it. Don't do it. Just wear your dreams down. Just do it. Fuck it. Like everybody. Like I said, it's all good, man. If, if you can make it, don't fake it till you make it. Just make it first. Oh, keep it on. I mean, we actually been doing that thing as long as more we can know. I, I ain't really been in the game to, to hear what they've been doing. I mean, I hear their dudes on the radio. You know, I really don't have an opinion about it because there, there is a difference between reaction and the underdogs of go-go reaction. There, there's just a difference. You know what I mean? And, 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 and the whole reaction, I, I don't know, I don't even know what they've been consistent of that. I, don't, I, I, I can't tell you. I don't know who's in the band, but the old reaction, the reaction I know. Crank. I mean, we got to go back to the boom boom boom, they just flat out crank. I mean, I can't take nothing from them. But the new people, I don't know them, so I can't speak about it because I, 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 I haven't had that. The chance to, to, to get to know more, really to hear them. I just say what I hear. See, the old TLB, Township, there were some young niggas on the ground. This is real. You know, I, I, I'm to the point now with, I mean, anybody, I, like I say, dog, I, I'm not really worried. I ain't tripping. I can take it personal. I think I want to take it. I'm strapped at all times. <laughs> My niggas strapped, whatever. But the old TOB, the, the, the TOB that I began to meet when they was back in the New York Avenue days, they was humble. I, I, it, I don't care who, who look at this, who reads it, who, who go back and tell whoever. I'm the reason why T.O.B. even got this far is they are. I, I never forget what one day T.O.B. was in the McDonald's parking lot and Miss Tina asked me, oh, that's her name, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She asked me to speak to them because she was about ready to quit. I talked to her, I said, hey, man, I got to be humble. I can't just be taking y'all like, I got to be humble. And, 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 they, and they and they went. Are y'all hanging for someone? And they grew. They they, they they grew from that. So as, as far as, you know what I'm saying, them as well, they, they talented, they got a lot of, a lot of nice music and stuff. But, I am the reason, whether they like it or not, that they have moved this far. Because if that talk wouldn't have last, the whole band would have went down. I mean, when they all used to ride in one van, before they started smoking, drinking, gang banging, gun slinging, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? Niggas want to build like that. But niggas have to go back to the reality of the real them. They don't need to fake. No need. Because at the end of the day, huh, if I fake towards you, or I fake like I'm something that I'm not, you're going to know that I'm not what I say I am. Easy. If, if, if I'm not what I say I am, what's the reason to say I am that? Because I'm not that. You ain't never slung drugs, don't say you slang. You ain't never shot a nigga, don't say you shot. 
If you carry a pistol but you won't shoot a nigga, say you won't shoot a nigga. You just got a gun. <laughs> Easy. You ain't got to be deep. You ain't got to say, oh, nigga, I got a gun, I kill you. Because you know you're not going to pull it. You ain't going to shoot a nigga. It's just a lot of bands that got to get real with themselves because they have had the opportunity to exploit themselves. And, and, and to run in different areas that they knew they couldn't run in, certain walls were still built. So when we stopped playing, it was it was a lot of room for niggas to do whatever they want. Because we always stood on respect. I said, you can talk with us like dogs, but if you've been out longer than us and you've been doing your thing, we'll never say nothing back. You can say, we some bitches, we some shit, we did this, we did this. We say, all right, we're going to play on the show, we're going to respect them, we're going to play. You see how we crushed CCB. That was, that was stupid. Back in Coke Field and all them We're going to get t shirts, flats, shoes, whatever you want to do. It just crushed it. It's not, it's not it. See, people have to understand that MOP been out for a long time. It's not something that we just started. You would hate to have to cross our path because that would just be stupid. Having the fans you got, you only got them because we stop playing. That's just it. And you sell something like us. You hit a certain groove like us. You bouncing like us. You you suck if you like us. You're not just doing it because it's your original thing and you pulled them from us. That's not the issue. You gotta be able to say, them niggas like that, I gotta give them a try. Because if I feel as old bad be cranking, I'm gonna say they be crazy. Somebody house in their living room. And when we had one show, we used to all get in the back of the U-Haul. And just go. We wouldn't worry about who had a car, who was late, who was leaving, like, who was that. We do that. We was humble. People got to be humble. You can't just fly out and say you the man. You're not the man. I'm not the man. I just have done a lot to impact on people's lives on, the, on their way to their career. So I'm not the man, though. Because I think least of myself than anybody else. When I say besides you, I'm going to tell you that I think you are the best person that have ever interviewed me. Because you deserve that. I'm not going to sit and say that. You know what? I met this nigga uh, about two years ago and he interviewed me better than you. Because you had to put somebody on a higher pedestal than you do yourself. You are not to think more of yourself than anybody else. That's just it. I, I don't think that I'm best at what I did because. I've been called the best singer and go, I don't think that's what I am. Right. I still think there is a nigga out of there that can, can do his thing. But at the same time, I know what she can recognize me. What, what, what they say, what that nigga can sing. That nigga done this, he done that. And I appreciate it. I really do. I just want people to come back to the aspect of knowing that everything is in order. It's, it's in respect. He can't. Your camera man can respect you. So let's learn out there, people. Our young bands, even the so called mid level bands or whatever. Take what he said right there, put it in good use or whatever. Thank you for your time, bro. Alright, I appreciate that.